Hey, David Bruce here with another three for all, and this is three Beto Brada licks from 1987 to 1991. And uh, this lesson is the uh, direct result of all your requests and messages uh, and comments, you know, here on YouTube and also on Facebook too. And I have to admit, I'm blown away that uh, Beto Brada, you know, definitely uh, had the most requests. I mean, it was almost like, you know, five to one or ten to one. Uh, it was unanimous. So what I did, uh, I kind of took the initiative and I actually worked on this lesson harder than almost any lesson I've put together so far. Um, I located uh, transcription books for all of White Lion's music and I spent um, technically the last 24 hours, I spent, you know, researching and just going through uh, the album's Pride, Big Game, and Main Attraction. And I only focused on his solos, his solos and fills, basically. And um, so this is three for all, but there's gonna be a heck of a lot more than three licks in this lesson. It's gonna be jam-packed with Vito. So uh, anyway, here we go. All right, so in this lesson, we're gonna approach you know three different areas of Vito's playing. Um, scale runs, speed licks, and of course, tapping. And um, you know, I did find little bits and pieces of things online, you know, as far as video. And uh, it kind of made me sad because I realized there really just isn't very much footage. You know, there's the live MTV concert. There's a couple bootleg, you know, kind of clips from the, like the early 90s. And, uh, and that's pretty much it. There's music videos and stuff like that. But it almost kind of reminded me of like Randy Rhodes, you know, and obviously Randy and Vito played you know, in the 80s, but at different times. And so in Randy's case, you know, it's even earlier and there were fewer and fewer people, you know, that had a, a, the means to, you know, capture a, you know, video or make a bootleg of a concert back then. You know, they didn't have camcorders, you know, running crazy, you know, back in the early 80s. Now in the late 80s, you know, more people had, you know, uh, video cameras and, and camcorders. All right, with the opening jam there, that was from the song Hungry, you know, the opening track from Pride. And in that riff, like in the intro, <laughs> like right there, there's a, a C Lydian is what that is. And Vito almost has this kind of Van Halen, you know, sequence, and he does that type of scale run. It's all over Pride. Um, he doesn't really do it so much in Big Game or Main Attraction. It's mainly on Pride when you'll hear these little kind of quick runs with scales. And uh, one more time there. And there's kind of a slight pinch on that B to C there at the end. Slight pinch, you know, it's not quite a squeal, you know, like Zach Wilde or somebody, but just a slight, you know, slight pinch. And the big thing there is just make sure you're you're picking in the right spot of that string. You know, because if you move your picking hand around, you could find different harmonics. And I'm I'm kind of hearing that area like right between, you know, the the neck and middle uh, single coil. You know, something like that. At the end of the solo from Hungary, you can hear another run like that where it's scale based. It almost reminds me of the intro to uh, Modern Day Cowboy, it's just a little bit different. And it also kind of reminds me of Randy Rhodes a little bit because it ends with a trill. Um, but at the end of the Hungary uh, guitar solo, and then slowly we're doing. There's a fill that appears in both the songs Lonely Nights and I'll Join Our Hands, and it's the exact same run, and Vito plays it right here. And it really reminds me of an old Van Halen lick. You know, think of the old uh, I'm the One, you know, lick, which I think Eddie was playing it around here. You know, that kind of thing. You know, it's a 
signature, you know, Van Halen like is symmetrical. It's not really a scale. Um, but what Vito did is he kind of took that Van Halen run and then actually applied it to a real scale. So if we took that lick and kind of moved it up here in Van Halen ter territory, you know, it would look something like that. Instead of Eddie's... <laughs> That kind of thing. Really interesting, like little uh, you know scale run. All right, here's another scale run. Uh, it's the opening from the solo to uh, "Don't Give Up," and you can hear he's actually doing this little octave length uh, run, and he's just kind of cruising down in octaves like this. And we've talked about octave linking before, and uh, here's Vito, you know, kind of grabbing this and then jumps down an octave and then jumps down another octave you know something like that okay here's another scale run and this is from the song if my mind is evil which is from the album big game and i really like this tune and this lick it kind of reminds me of randy rhodes and that's one thing you know working on this uh, material for this lesson and kind of reviewing, you know, all of Vito's solos and fills and all these licks. Um, yeah, there's some Van Halen hiding in there. But there's a lot more Randy Rhodes than I remembered, you know, like uh, originally. You know, like listening to the music, I always heard Eddie. But then really diving into some of these licks, it's like, wait a minute, I'm picking up a bunch of Randy Rhodes, you know, influence. And um, this lick from If My Mind Is Evil kind of has that uh, Randy Rhodes kind of feel. <laughs> And slowly, and I love the way he ends it too, which is so weird. Um, definitely a Randy Rhodes, you know, influence there. note there it's just you know kind of unusual a dark run you know I like that really cool all right next up we've got some speed licks from Vito and the first one appears in the solo from weight and uh, there's this kind of you know pull off you know kind of busy run that sounds something like this <laughs> And there you can see we're just kind of doing this little pull-off pattern. And then right there we're catching that E note, you know, on the B string. And then we're doing like this little fourth, kind of a sus four. And then we're grabbing that, uh, you know, 21st fret there on the high E. Something like that. There's another speed lick, and this comes from uh, All You Need Is Rock and Roll, and it kind of reminds me of a Van Halen lick, but we're doing a... Uh... And there you can hear we're doing this kind of hammer on pull off there on the G. You know, very, you know, Van Halen-esque. And then he starts palm muting and walks down the scale. Something like that. Alright, the next speed lick comes from the song War Song, which is from Main Attraction, and it's kind of an unusual solo. Uh, there's two leads, and there's like this aggressive kind of shred lead, and then this real melodic and kind of airy lead that comes in after that. And it's a really interesting song. I like War Song. It's a cool tune. Um, but it starts off with like this G minor pentatonic run, and then we're going to convert that to a, you know, blues or a flat five run. And then uh, there's another speed lick that we're going to uncover that happens right after this. But the first one, you know, kind of a Zach Wilde kind of lick. And there you can see we're just doing this double pull off. grab the flat five right there, that D flat. And then 
grab D and bend that up a whole step. <laughs> And then the second speed run is this really cool kind of a, it's almost like a pivot arpeggio, but it's really interesting. So you're going to grab 20 there on the B, uh, 18 to 17 on the G, and then 20 on the D, and then back to 17, 18 on the G. So we're doing this really interesting, you know, and it's a great exercise for your pinky too. And then he basically ends that on the 18th fret there on the B string and bends that up a whole step. Really cool. Alright, now finally we're going to look at some tapping licks uh, from Vito. And Vito, um, you know, definitely came from the Van Halen school of tapping, which, you know, a big part of uh, Eddie Van Halen's, you know, tapping approach uh, comes from playing arpeggios, you know, as taps. And then, you know, when you look at somebody more like Red Beach, you know, Red Beach is playing more or less tapped scale, you know, fingerings and patterns. And so Vito kind of lived somewhere in between those two. He tapped a lot of arpeggios, but then he also tapped scales. And he just had a lot of really different, you know, uh, different ideas and licks. And uh, the first idea here, this is just kind of a tap slide idea that comes from Tell Me. Um, <laughs> And I really like that lick because you hear these, you know, kind of open string hammer-ons. Um, you know, I really like that lick. It kind of reminds me of Eddie, you know, of course. Um, really cool. And then you can hear, um, you know, he'll sneak little taps into uh, solos, you know, like uh, When the Children Cry. You know, and it's really clever the way he kind of sneaks, you know, some of those taps in there. You know, and just that tap bending kind of stuff. And it's, you know, reminiscent of Eddie Van Halen, but, you know, Vito definitely kind of found his own way of doing it. And then, of course, the famous, you know, weight solo has more tap bending. Um, you know, where he's basically playing a melody, you know, with tapping, which is really cool. And then he basically comes up here. And then he grabs 19 way up there. So he's, you know, kind of bending that ninth fret, tap 12. And then he bends ninth up a half step and then taps 13, which is so cool. You know, very expressive tapping, which I think that's a big part of Vito's style and kind of his signature, you know, sound. For some more tapping ideas, um, you know, there's a really famous Eddie Van Halen tap that he, uh, he definitely used in the early days of Van Halen, but right around the 5150 era, you know, the Van Hagar, I guess, um, he played this tap a lot during that tour and on that album. And there you can see we're tapping 17, and then we've got this 12 and 15 on the B and the high E. And it creates, it creates like this real blurry tap sound, right? Now what Vito did is he moved uh, the 15s to 17 and then he was tapping 19 here. Which is really cool. There's kind of a slight variation there. Now in the song uh, Hungry, you can hear there's a fill. And there he's basically going between, you know, the B and the high E. And then he moves all the way over to the G and the D string, too. And he actually ends on uh, the tap note there on 19, which is interesting. 
And there's kind of a variation of that lick in Lonely Nights, and he starts moving around with the taps too, which is interesting. So he's tapping 19, and he's got the 12 and 17 stretch, and then he's going to move back to 12 and 15 and tap 17. And then on the B string, he's going to move between 13 and 15 and tap basically 20 and then 19, uh, something like this. And there on the B string, you can see we're just kind of alternating the tapping note. Really cool. All right, that's going to wrap this look at three licks from Vito Brada. And obviously, there's way more than three licks in here. It's more like three concepts, I guess. Uh, scale runs, speed licks, and tapping. And there's a lot more to Vito than just these three areas. All right, well, leave some feedback and some comments. And please subscribe to Late Night Lessons. And I'll be back with more content material very soon. Thank you.